welcome back to another episode of Project Accounting. So our topic for today is all about accounting concepts and principles. For this episode, you will be able to enumerate the principles of accounting, differentiate each principle, and apply the accounting principle in a business setting. So last time, we were able to learn that accounting is considered the language of business. Accounting has evolved through time kasabay ng pagbabago na kailangan ng ating society. So habang nagbabago ang mga bagay-bagay, accountants develop rules and procedures. These rules, procedures, and practices came to be known as the generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP. GAAP encompasses the conventions, rules, procedures, practice, and standards followed in the accumulation, preparation, and presentation of accounting data in the financial statements. So, para maintindihan ng mga users sa mga financial information na ito, the accounting profession has set guidelines that will govern how accountants will accumulate, measure, record, and report financial activities of the business. Some of the generally accepted accounting principles are business entity concept, going concern assumption, time period assumption, unit of measurement assumption, accrual basis, and matching principle. So tara, isa-isay natin ang mga ito. So simulan natin sa business entity concept. So under this concept, business entity is treated as separate and distinct from its owners and from other business units. So, important ang accounting concept na to dahil it limits the data na related lang sa activities ng business. Thus, the accountant of the business of sole proprietorship, for example, would only record the transactions of the business. So, yung mga personal transactions of the owner, hindi dapat isama sa financial records of the business. Ganun din kapag madaming business. Kailangan may separate na accounting din yung mga business na iyon. For example, ikaw meron kang computer shop. So, dapat hindi mo pagsamahin yung pera sa computer shop, pati yung personal na cash mo. So, let's give another example. Pumunta si manager sa client niya para makipag-meeting. The expenses that come with that meeting should be part of the company's expenses. So, after ng meeting, si manager pinuntahan yung anak niya para sunduin from school. So, yung amount na nagastos for this, personal use should not be included as part of the company's expenses. So, next concept naman is yung going concern assumption. This assumes that unless there is an evidence to the contrary, business entity will continue for an indefinite period. So, basically, it only means lang na sa pag-prepare ng financial statements, we will assume na ang business will continue for an indefinite period instead of being closed or sold. So, next naman is yung time period assumption. This assumption requires that indefinite life of business ay i-divide into time or accounting periods sa pag-prepare ng financial reports based on the needs of the users. For example, di ba si management accounting? The internal users need timely and relevant information to make decisions. So in order to satisfy the needs of the internal users, they might use the financial statement prepared on a monthly basis, which is yung shortest accounting period, quarterly, which is every three months, semi-annual basis which is 6 months or 1 year o yung tinatawag na annually. Philippine companies are required to report financial statements annually. So yung annual accounting period may be a calendar year or a fiscal year. So calendar year begins on January 1 and ends on December 31 of the same year while yung fiscal year naman it begins on any month except January and ends of the 12th month of the following year. So, example ng fiscal year ay if the company started the business on July 1, 2020, yung end ng accounting period that will cover one year of operation would be on June 30, 2021. So, next GAAP is yung unit of measurement assumption or monetary unit principle. Ibig sabihin naman ay accounting should measure and report the results of business economic activities in terms of a single monetary unit. This is important kasi it is an effective means for aggregating and communicating accounting information. So for example, kung ang currency mo ay Philippine Peso, dapat ang financial statements mo ay nakareport sa Philippine Peso. So next naman is yung accrual basis of accounting. Accrual basis of accounting requires that revenue or income should be recognized when earned regardless of when collection is received 
and expense should be recognized when incurred regardless when payment is made. So, unti-unti in natin. Yung revenue daw or yung kita should be recognized, dapat daw i-record mo kapag na-earn na or kinita mo na siya, regardless kung nakuha mo na yung bayad. Tapos, kapag sa expense naman, yung gastos mo should be recognized when incurred, or ibig sabihin na gastos mo na yon, regardless kung binayaran mo na yung expense mo na yon. Para mas maintindihan natin, magbigay tayo ng example. So, for example, yung isang barbershop. Dapat mag-recognize ang revenue si barbershop kapag yung barber natapos na siya magupit. Hindi kung kailan nagbigay ng bayad si customer ng cash. Kapag naman nakuha na ni barbershop yung electricity bill, dapat nang mag-record ng expense kahit na hindi pa binabayaran. Yan ang kinaibahan sa cash basis of accounting, na kung saan yung revenue at expenses will be recognized when cash is received or cash is paid. Sa ngayon, cash basis is not generally accepted. So yung last gap na i-discuss natin is yung matching principle. This principle relates to the recognition of expense which requires that cost and expenses incurred in generating revenue should be properly matched against related revenue in determining net income or net loss for the period. So in short, dapat yung na-recognize mong expense ay dapat imamatch mo sa revenue na na-generate. So para maintindihan natin, magbigay tayo ng example. For example, nag-tutor ka sa kapitbahay nyo tapos sumakay ka ng jeep para makapunta ka sa kanila. So dapat i-record mo yung transportation cost na na-incur mo kasabay ng revenue na kinita mo sa tutorial services. So to summarize what we have learned today, GAAP encompasses the conventions, rules, procedures, practice, and standards followed in the accumulation, preparation, and presentation of accounting data in the financial statements. So meron tayong anim na GAAP na na-discuss. Business entity concept means that business enterprise is separate and distinct from its owner or investor. Going concern assumption means that business is expected to continue indefinitely unless there is a contrary. Time period assumption means that financial statements are divided into specific time intervals. Unit of measurement assumption means that amounts are stated into a single monetary unit. Accrual basis requires that revenue or income should be recognized when earned regardless of when collection is received, and expense should be recognized when incurred regardless when payment is made. And lastly, matching principle means that costs should be matched with the revenue generated. So if you like this video, or if this video helped you, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more episodes. Thank you!